بسم الله الرحمن Hi everyone Welcome to the new course of Geospatial Data Analysis using Machine Learning Algorithm This is Omar Altwaini I have a PhD of Geomatics Engineering and wide interest in disaster and hazard management using geospatial technology and machine learning. I'm presenting today a new course of prediction maps using extreme gradient posting algorithm, K nearest neighbor, nave bias, and random forests in GIS environment. In this course, we will take two different kind of applications. Application one, we will use landslide data. So we will try to prepare a landslide susceptibility map or what we call landslide prediction map. Uh, and based on those tools that we are using here, it kind of classification. So we will expect to have a prediction using classification tools. And application number two will be uh, uh, air uh, uh, will be related to air pollution management. So we will use data of uh, particle matters 10 micron, what we call BM10, and we will try to find the susceptibility map of this kind of uh, pollution in specific study area using uh, remote sensing data. So without further ado, let's begin. The course will start with introduction to machine learning algorithm, the one that we are using in this course, and all of those algorithms working for classification and regression. But we will focus on the classification in this course because in the previous course using the artificial neural networks, use the regression, and also in the logistic regression course, also we use the regression. So that's why I decided in this course we will present something different. And the same time we will compare with the previous result because for the artificial neural network and the landslide data is similar in this course as well. So this is an opportunity to compare your results if you already involved in my previous course. So we will talk about the R study environment and the CRAN package that we will use in this application and brief introduction about the uh, extreme gradient posting and the KNN and the NB as well as random forest. Then we'll talk briefly also about the application in this course, what kind of data that we have and what kind of factors that we are applying and it will be focused as we mentioned about landslide prediction map as well as the ambient air pollution prediction map using PM10. In this course we are using the QGIS and R. So if you expect to have like uh, uh, the ArcGIS, it's also possible. But uh, for the landslide data preparation, we are using a tool that presented earlier using the automatic classification of the training and testing data in the QGIS software. And uh, this tool also on the entire course uh, offered on my uh, platform uh, and explain everything and also the library and the tools also available in this course as well as in the previous course I added the section that it will be necessary for you to prepare the data just the section that you need to prepare the data on also the library is available and the tools also available in this course so for you, no need to go and register in the previous course unless you want to take extra information about how I prepared the uh, library of inside the QGIS. So for the landslide data, it will be landslide incidence locations, polygon also we have uh, yeah, such kind of uh, training and testing data using the grid based methods. So we'll discuss about the R Studio, the setting and how to import the parameters as well as how to prepare them 
and download them actually from the source so especially for the topic of uh, ambient air pollution we will start from zero so we will download the data we will process the data inside R inside QGIS and then we prepare it for the analysis but however about the uh, landslide data we already mentioned that we used it in the previous course so if you are coming from the artificial neural network course you will understand all the data type and how we uh, process them and in this course also we will talk briefly about those uh, factors which is most common that most of the students are aware about the conditioning factors and the landslide incidents that we are using in such kind of analysis also uh, inside the R code we will run the classification based on all of those methods we mentioned the cane and the forest and the forest dynamic bias and the a gradient posting extreme gradient posting working as regression and classification tool. so we will learn what the different and why it's classic classification and what is the regression also during the course we will uh, talk uh, about this specific uh, point so as a result we expect to see the model accuracy kappa index the uh, variables importance also we'll get it for each method we will see the variable importance so also you can compare also you can compare the accuracy and the sensitivity analysis if needed also we will do it as a, an ex, uh, uh, extra step which is also one of the most important step that is most of the researchers they are not aware about is the hyperparameter optimization what is the hyperparameter why we need to do the optimization of the hyperparameter so in short every model it has its own settings let's say for example about the decision trees we have the number of parent node number of child nodes uh, and number of iterations this kind it's called the hyperparameter usually you are using the default but sometimes when you optimize them when you change those values you'll get higher accuracy so in this course we will run the default setting as well as we will add the hyperparameters optimization we will try to see how to change the hyperparameter to reach to the optimum accuracy as usual we have the, the accuracy test and validation using the testing data with the confusion uh, matrix as well as uh, uh, to plot the uh, ROC curve and find the area under curve value and then it will be for the last step we will uh, deal in general with the prediction map that we already we imported the conditioning factors and we expect to run the prediction for this kind of maps and we exported in TIFF format so you can visualize it and you can take it to the QGIS or ArcGIS to plot your final prediction map so we will have expectation to have the classification based map with the probability from 0 to 1 for the landslides and for the uh, ambient air pollution for the PM 2.5